Some tasks in PowerPoint are a bit repetitive, and to save you some time, PowerPoint has some shortcuts to repeat whatever the last action was to really save you some time. So let's say I want to fill this legal pad with a bunch of blue lines. Well, I could use the keyboard shortcut Control and then click and drag to draw additional lines, but then I'd have to do that for every single time I wanted a line on this piece of paper. Or I could use the repeat last action button, which is on your quick access toolbar in PowerPoint. So the last action was a duplicate action where I duplicated that first line. And if I take my mouse and click directly on that button, it will repeat the identical spacing just beneath. Keep pressing it and it'll keep drawing it. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control Y to achieve the same effect. Now, if you ever click the undo button, you might notice that your repeat button changes to a redo button. And when you click that, then the repeat action or the button no longer is available. Well, that's because we've undid the last action. So do be careful if you want to use that repeat button to not click the undo button, because then that changes the action. And that's just a great shortcut to know about. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.